Muy buenas chavales, estamos aquí en el episodio 5 de la temporada 1 de The Walking Dead ¿Vale? Hoy vamos a acabar ya por fin la temporada 1, a falta del DLC, ¿vale? Que lo tendréis mañana ¿Vale? Para, tengo que decir que para mí han pasado unos días desde que grabé el episodio 4, ¿vale? El episodio 1, 2, 3 y 4 los graba uno cada día seguidos Pero este para mí han pasado unos 3 días más o menos, ¿vale? Así que eso, lo quería decirlo Y luego el... aunque vosotros lo vais a ver al día siguiente que veis el 4, así que no pasa nada Y el DLC... Yo supongo que sí que lo voy a grabar mañana, pero bueno. Hoy vamos a acabar la temporada 1, ¿vale? Ya sabéis, el DLC, ya sabéis que no aparecen ni Clementine, ni Lee, ni nadie. O sea, son otros personajes que no, no, no hemos visto todavía, son personajes nuevos. Y el DLC tiene que ver con algunas cosas que pasarán en la temporada 2, ¿vale? Así que supongo más que decir. Luego diré un poquito lo que haremos con la temporada 2, ¿vale? Cuando acabe el episodio 5, eh, comentaré un par de cosas y el DLC lo jugaremos mañana, ¿vale? Dicho esto, vamos allá, ¿vale? Vamos a jugar... Este episodio es el más corto de todos, ¿vale? Este no dura ni siquiera dos horas. Y sabéis que todos más o menos duran dos horas, dos horas y poco. Más o menos lo que me han durado todos. Todos me han durado unas dos horas, unas dos horas y algo. Uy, lo veo como muy alto, muy alto. Para mí, ¿eh? Otros lo dejo así. Y este es el que menos dura. Este dura una hora y media, una cosa así. Así que eso, vamos a ver. Bueno, eso es lo que suele durar por está viendo en YouTube. A lo mejor ahora a mí me dura dos horas porque voy muy lento. O me dura incluso menos porque voy muy rápido, no lo sé. Ya sabéis que como me sé la historia de lo que pasa... Al final sé muchas cosas que sé que tengo que hacer. Por eso tengo ganas también de llegar al episodio, al capítulo 3, perdón, a la temporada 3, porque de la temporada 3 y 4 eh, no sé casi nada. No sé casi nada. O sea, de la temporada 1 y 2 sí que porque las jugué en su día, y por lo que he visto varias veces en YouTube, pero temporada 3 y 4 no, no sé nada. Cuidando alguna cosilla y todo eso, ¿no? Pero bueno, aquí vimos, vimos ¿no? que mordieron a Lee. Y habían secuestrado a Clementine, ¿no? El colgado este, que no sabemos quién es. Aquí ya veis, ¿no? Que me acompañaron todos, menos Ben. Pero no ven porque le dije yo que se quedase, ¿no? Porque no quisiera venir. Este juego en parte se adapta a las decisiones que tomas. La historia se desprocederá con tu modo de juego. Aquí tenemos el tren, ¿no? En el que venimos a Savannah. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot and it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. We'll try to find another way out of here. Gonna 
Superman right through. ¿Y está muerto? No parece, ¿no? La verdad es que no recuerdo cómo salir de aquí, no voy a engañaros, eh. Ojo esto. Vale, a lo mejor para esto para el ascensor, a lo mejor. Have these doors open in two seconds. Episodio 5, el tiempo se agota. about trying to save him at the very least buy him some time chopping his arm off do we know it works we don't know anything we know there's going to be a lot of blood there's going to be a shitload of blood what if he dies then the rest of us go after clementine and get the hell out of savannah damn right let's do this if there's a chance it stops you from turning we have to take it Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck. Esto va a doler. Cut it off. Seriously. Yeah. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. Fast would be good. Look, you can... Ah! Ah! Try to stay still! Ah! Ah! The fuck? Gotta tighten the tourniquet. I'm sorry. Me su mano ahí tú. Holy hell. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. That's so bad. Maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? When you lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on you. Jeez. We're gonna have to go as quiet. 
quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Keep going. Uy, su puta madre, qué susto me ha dado, tío. Me ha asustado de verdad, eh. Me cago en toda su puta madre, tío. ¿Tú ves? ¿Qué pasa? Just fucking peachy. Y tiene que ser complicado subir con una mano solo, la verdad. Hospital, vale. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this works. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Well, it wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Vale, a ver, más o menos recuerdo lo que tenía que hacer, pero no sé cómo era exactamente. Vamos a hablar primero con cada uno, ¿vale? ¿Dónde, dónde está Kenny? Aquí. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Tontería bajar por ahí, pero vamos a morir. Huellas aquí, a ver. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. That doesn't really mean much. It's an extension ladder. Hospital must have run out of doctors. That's the church across the street from the mansion. Rubber Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said. And make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. Rubber Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. 
I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. También puedo hablar con Kenny. Bueno, tampoco voy a ponerme aquí a hablar con todo el mundo. Me voy a saltar es imposible, hijo mío, ¿no? Pero. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. Ah, recuerdo lo que tengo que hacer, es con las escaleras, pero no sé en qué momento me va a salir la opción ¿sabes? de poder cogerlas. Vale, ya me sale. Vale, vamos a hablar con Kenny y cogemos las escaleras, ¿vale? See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh, I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck in all this mess. Can't. No. No, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. The mansion's that way. Bell tower's over there. If we go down the opposite side of the roof, we might be able to make it without too much trouble. I can do that. Yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah. I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man. Who knows? Bueno, vamos allá, va. Bueno, como he comentado... Wow, ¿Necesitas ayuda con eso? Lo tengo. Eso no... Bueno, pensaba que me podía andar un rato. Vale, luego lo comento. Eso, cuando, bueno, que cuando acabemos este episodio, cuando acabemos ya el juego como tal... Diré un poquito lo que haremos con la temporada 2, ¿vale? El DLC no os preocupéis porque el DLC será mañana, pero la temporada 2 posiblemente habrá que esperar unos meses o un tiempo, ¿vale? Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My legs feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep.
bullshit. Huh? Oh, fuck. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? Cerrada, ¿no? Shit. The exit in here's locked. A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. Coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. Just a little hop. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. What are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless. What happened to your arm? We cut it off. Ben, I could just kill you right now. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet. So put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill. Here's some pills. 
Vernon, chill. Here's our fucking boat. This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't. A ver, sigue diciendo que lo del bote. Lo de Ben, Ben ha tenido culpa de muchas cosas, pero lo del bote no es culpa suya. Sale claramente él contra no sé cuántas personas había ahí. No va a hacer nada, hombre. Y encima no tiene ni arma ni nada. Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny. Careful, guys. No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am, and I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No. You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben. Um... Oh, shit. Here they come. In the house. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omi. What is it? Front doors! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. Yo creo que no. La verdad es que le daba eso, pero yo no creía en nada que iba a esto. Bueno, como veis ahí, no sé si habéis visto quién es. Ahora voy a pararlo. Como veis, esta es la chica que estaba con verlo. Que se transformó, ¿vale? Aquí hay un mini camello de ella. Bueno, en zombie, ¿no? Que se la comieron en la escuela esta. Me hace una aparición ahí y ya está. ¿Veis? Que aparece como zombie. Y ya está. O que tenga mucha más importancia. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. 
Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm Larry Paris. Oh, no. What does that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Guys, I don't know what happened Come on, when I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house, and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey. And about 50 pounds heavier. You uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, a cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. 
Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Valentine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Tengo que decir que Kenny me cae mejor que Krista y Omid, pero para que si Clemente tuviese que elegir que estuviese con alguien, creo que Omid y Krista pegan más. Primero porque Krista está embarazada, vamos, no me han dicho, pero seguro. Y segundo porque no sé, los veo más no yendo tan cabeza loca, ¿sabes? Sí, Kenny lo quiero mucho, es un gran personaje, pero sí que siento que a veces se le va un poco la olla. Eso sí que es cierto. Entonces hay que tener cuidado en esas cosas. Por lo demás es eso. Por lo demás es un tío de puta madre. Y Chris y Omid también. Y si queda con Kenny tampoco me importaría, también me hablaría. You lose his shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well. Seems like it got through to Kenny, whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. <sighs> that uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it did it help at all? I feel like a man got bitten. So take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it for both of you. A lot of us have lost families. wanted to die in Crawford. What's that now? When I had him there in my hand. He wanted me to drop him. He asked me to. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm glad it was you making that call and not me. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. You see that lump on his face? You did that? Might have. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers.
No es bueno para el bebé eso, ¿eh, Cristo? I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well, aquí una se suicidaron, ¿no? Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it because it's hard. You stick it out and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. You still with us, Biv? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Oh. I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! Shh! Quiet, Biv! Or they'll be on top of us! Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you...
fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Just yank him off that thing. What? Fast, like a band-aid. Do you think? <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh God, don't let them get to me! Any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny. This is not a discussion. Hell no, man. I'm not leaving. What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here. What the fuck, Kenny? Lee, Lee, it's okay. No, Ken. No, it's not. It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Ken! Yeah. Ah, God damn it! Ahora voy a ver un poquito de sobre esta escena, ¿vale? What happened? Happened. There was just too many of them. Ben was really messed up, and I don't know. There's nothing else. God damn. God. I heard a shot. sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe he did get away. I don't know. We should go. Right behind. Ahora daré mi opinión sobre esta escena, ¿eh? Que para mí esta, esta muerte de Kenny, para mí está muy mal hecha ¿eh? y un poco sin sentido, la verdad. Más, si queréis la puedo dar ya. Bueno, como ya sabéis, en el capítulo 4 Ben puede morir, ¿vale? En el caso de que lo de dejes caer a Ben y Ben muera, aquí obviamente esto de sobre Ben no pasa. Entonces Kenny sigue con vosotros un poco más. Kenny igualmente se va, ¿eh? No, no sabes si muere o no, porque no ves el cuerpo. Si ves aquí... A mí esta parte... Si dejas Ben con vida, me parece que está mal hecho. 
Porque es tan sencillo como cerrar la puerta y la puerta está cerrada, pegas un tiro a ver en la cabeza para que no sufra, porque obviamente no puedes hacer nada. Si no hubiesen caminantes alrededor, bueno, hostia, podrías hacer algo, donde das sacarlo de alguna manera, pero viendo los caminantes era imposible sacarlo de ahí. Era imposible. No tenías tiempo, eh... Sacarlo tan así, justamente, posiblemente hubiese muerto de sangrado. Y más teniendo en cuenta que ninguno de los de ahí era médico. Entonces, lo mejor para mí es pues, que Kenny os subáis la escalera, le vas un tiro a Ben para que no sufra, y os vais los dos. Para mí, esta escena, para mí esta parte está mal hecha. En el caso de que llegues aquí y Ben ya está muerto, por lo que haces en el capítulo 4, decides que se caiga, pasa otra, una cosa diferente, no hay, pasa una cosa un poquito más adelante con, eh, con Krista, se llama así. Krista se cae en un sitio... Y, y vienen zombies, vienen caminantes y Krista va a morir. Entonces Kenny se tira, ayuda a Krista a subir y entonces ahí se va. Esa parte para mí está mejor hecha, ¿por qué? Porque ahí sí que es necesario que alguien se sacrifique para salvar a Krista. Porque si no, Krista no puede subir porque no, no llegan a, a, a que le den la mano. Entonces ahí Kenny le ayuda a subir. Ahí sí que tiene sentido de que Kenny se sacrifica. Aquí no tiene sentido. Para mí esta parte está mal hecha. Sinceramente, este es el sacrificio de Kenny por Ben. La parte, si, si Ben ya viene aquí muerto... Sí que, viene, sí que va mejor porque eso, por lo que estoy diciendo, ¿no? Por el tema de que... De que tiene un sentido que se explique. O sea, para mí tiene más sentido el sacrificio de Kenny por Krista que el sacrificio de Kenny por Ben, pero bueno. Ya se nota que se está transformando, Ali. No sé dónde es donde se cae eh, Krista y Omid, no sé en qué parte es. Sé que es por aquí, sé que eso, llegan un poquito, sé que Kenny llega un poquito más y porque es por aquí donde pasa, pero no voy a mentiros, no sé exactamente dónde es. Porque yo la primera vez que me pasé el juego también vine con Ben. Y creo que las partes de los vídeos que he visto también he visto con Ben. Solo vi la escena por YouTube buscándola. Pero eso. Pero tiene, para mí tiene más sentido el sacrificio si se sacrifica por Krista que por Ben. No por nada. Por la de Ben tiene incluso hasta gracia, ¿no? Por el tema de que matas Ben. No literalmente, pero mató a su familia y todo eso, ¿no? Vale, creo que es aquí. Aquí es donde se cae Krista. O sea, si no viene... Si no vienes con Ben aquí, Ben ya está muerto. Eh... Sí, eso. Si vienes por aquí, eh, esto. Krista se cae ahí. No sé muy bien qué pasa. No sé cómo llega a caer ahí o algo, no, no tengo ni idea. Y entonces Kenny se tira para ayudarla a subir. Ahí tiene sentido que se sacrifique, pero sacrificarse la parte de Ben me parece que está mal hecho, la verdad. Porque literalmente es que le pegas un tiro y subes. Es que no me dices que guau, es que tienes tienes que tirarte un minuto para ir a las escaleras y no te da tiempo. Pero no, es que literalmente estás al lado. O sea, es pegarle un tiro, subes y te tomo por culo. Para mí esa parte está mal hecha, la verdad. Ya estaremos más o menos por la mitad del capítulo. Más o menos. Incluso más de la mitad, yo creo. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Shit! Oh, fuck! Shit! Are 
you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. Qué grande lío. Creo que por aquí, si no recuerdo mal, hay algún hay alguno de los caminantes que luego el modelo se les, se les usa en el DLC. O sea que ves a la persona antes de transformarse, creo, ¿eh? no estoy 100% seguro. Aquí matas unos cuantos, la tontería. Y un poco yo creo que ya viendo ese coche algunos entendéis lo que pasa, ¿no? Viendo ese coche algunos entendéis que creo que es lo que pasa. Porque yo supongo que algunos a lo mejor recordaréis qué coche es ese, ¿no? Algunos no lo haréis, pero yo creo que algunos sí. Goddess of joining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You 
wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal either. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach little league. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Would you start on who took what from who? I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. I wouldn't do that again. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. starving and was cold so my family starved in the cold how could you know all this you're a monster you so bad just give me Clementine back I'd rather kill her myself because that's what will happen if she goes with you after I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were I came after you purely for revenge but the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. Nueve. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been to you. That's not happening. You're crazy. 
keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new thing. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Do you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Hostia, hace daño, eh, darle tanto ¿Ya? No Smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. Then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. saved me it's my fault everything is dangerous like you said esa escena puede ser diferente depende por ejemplo yo he dejado de pulsar la Q porque ha dejado de salir pero si sigues pulsando la Q la, la ahogas ¿eh? si lo matas tú no lo mata Clementine o sea la puedes matar Clementine lo puedes matar tú o lo puedes dejar que se convierta en zombie yo creo que incluso no puedes matar si quieres no puedes no matarlo creo ¿eh? no estoy 100% seguro Y ahí tenés ¿no? la, la cabeza de su mujer zombificada. No parece que haya nada por aquí, ¿no? Vale, vale, que no me dejan salir por aquí, parece. Savannah. You 
like on a pinch of nose. Get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? One more. I want to be sure. Just a little more. It's so gross. hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Pero también algunos estaréis preguntando qué pasa si no cogéis la comida en el capítulo 2, ¿no? Este pavo también viene por vosotros y la respuesta es sí, ¿vale? Toméis la comida o no viene por vosotros, básicamente porque si no tomáis, la... bueno, si decidís no tomar la comida, creo que el grupo la toma también. O sea, al final vosotros es un voto, creo que el grupo decide eh, cogerla, así que eso. Igualmente decidáis vosotros coger la comida o no, creo que la acaban cogiendo y entonces eso, ¿no? Eh... Eh, ¿Cómo decirlo? Eso, acaban cogiendo la comida y pasa lo mismo. Tú le dices, oye, que yo no quise coger la comida, pero os pondrá excusas. Como el cosa de esto, ¿no? que habéis hecho cosas malas y cosas así. O sea, pasa, pasa igualmente, ¿eh? Cojáis la comida. Bueno, querráis coger vosotros la comida o no en el capítulo 2. Ahí están, ¿no? Su madre y su padre. Obviamente siendo zombies. Por cómo está, tú está verde, azul. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Hold on, three. One, two, three. See? Clementine, honey. Mom 
it's gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was spitting for him. Keith, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> There's no time to be upset. Okay. I'll try not to be. I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up. Get me out of Start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a chair over there. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you need. Uh, handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee.
handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, I'm safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. Gun. Keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. Then he think it's dangerous. You're faster than he is. What should I get first? You're so close. Just get them both. Uh, I'll try. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Watch out! Run, Clem! The bat, Clem! Get the bat! You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You're gonna see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Please, no. It's okay. It's okay. You make it. First days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, I met a girl. she wanted was to come back as a walker. Please? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. I don't need it, Krista. You're outside of town by the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself.
Uf, qué duro, tío, eh. La verdad, y mira que la escena la he visto un montón de veces, tío. Todas las veces que la veo es dura de cojones, tío. The Walking Dead. Uf, es una escena dura, eh. Es que es una escena dura, tú. Es un personaje que le ibas contando todo el juego y ver que termina así es dura de cojones. No sé si esto se ha bugueado o algo. No sé qué es esto, la verdad. Vale, ya está. Vale. Parece que se había mini bugueado un poquito, ¿no? Le cortaste el brazo a Ali. El 68% eh, por ciento, eh, se cortó el brazo. Perdieron la compostura. El 46% por ciento perdieron los estribos. No sé a qué se refiere a esto, la verdad. Tercera, desarmado. Eh, ¿Rindieron las armas? Tú y el 30% por ciento, te quedaste con algo. Mataste al captor de Clementine, tú y el 10% dejaste que Clem matara al desconocido, o sea que el 90%, bueno, no, no como tal porque hay más opciones, ¿no? Eh, había gente que no, eh, que no lo mata, hay gente que se convierte y hay gente que lo matará a él. Yo es que he dejado de dar la Q porque me había dejado de dar la Q, si no, no hubiese dejado que Clem lo matase, ¿eh? pero bueno. Y adiós, impediste que él se convirtiera, el 95% evita que él se convierta y el 5% lo deja que se convierta. ¿verdad? Es duro, es que es duro para una niña, ¿eh? ver justo acabas de ver a tus padres morir. Justo esto, ¿no? Kenny, defendiste a su hijo en la farmacia, le contaste tu pasado, mataste a su hijo para que él no lo hiciera y la horda lo mató intentando salvar a Ben. Eh, encontraste agua para Dak cuando lo necesitaba, se disparó a enterarse de la muerte de su hijo. Frenaste a Lily cuando Kenny aplastó a su cabeza, Larry murió en el congelador de la lechería. Lily, al desaparecer las provisiones, la respaldaste, decidiste contarle tu pasado y la dejaste a un lado de la carretera. Y Omid le ayudaste a subir el tren. Se separaron después de que cruzaste la señal. Ven, le ofreciste a Ben cuando lo acusaron de robo. Ven cayó su muerte en un callejón de sabana. Eh, Carly, le confiaste tu pasado. Salvaste su vida a la costa de otra. Le, Lily la mató. Y acordaste con ella contarles tu pasado a todos. Luego tenemos ahí a Krista. La conociste en, en tu peor día hasta ahora. Le mostraste tu mordida. Le pediste que se reuniera contigo en el tren. Y le pediste que ella y Omid que cuidaran a Clementine. Dog, estabas con él cuando encontraste a tu hermano, murió cuando los camiones atacaron la farmacia. Ya ves que Dog y, y Carly, depende de quién sabes al principio, cambian sus papeles, ¿eh? no hay mucha diferencia entre ellos. Bueno, diálogos, cosas así, pero como tal mueren en el mismo sitio. O sea... Luego eh, tenemos a Yapak, ayudaste a salvar su vida en la granja de Hersel, argumentaste que no le mordieron a Meiko, le disparaste antes de que se convirtiera y le dejaste de ser tu compañero. Resolver un misterio en el episodio 3, creo que fue. ¿no? Hay falta un cuarto personaje, creo, pero bueno. Bueno, pues hasta aquí The Walking Dead temporada 1. Eh, una jodida obra maestra de juego. Bueno, obra maestra en cuanto a historia. Muy bien llevada. Eh, ahora aquí tenemos una cancioncita que está bastante guay. Que la canción explica cosas, pero voy hablando por encima, no, disculpad, porque es que no sé si tiene copyright, ¿vale? Como tal, la temporada 1 es muy buena. La temporada 2 también es muy buena, ¿vale? Yo ya como, yo creo que, no, no sé si lo he dicho ya en esta serie, pero a mí me gusta más la temporada 2 que la 1, tengo que decir. Me gusta más, creo que está mejor llevada. Muchas... Como juego es mejor, como historia las dos están muy a la par. ¿eh? Como historia la una y la otra están muy a la par. Pero como juego es mejor la, la segunda, la, la temporada 2. Luego la 3 y la 4 no puedo comentar porque no las he jugado. Ni las he jugado, ni las he visto por YouTube, ni nada. Eh, eso, la verdad, el final de la 1 la verdad es que es... Te rompe el alma, llevas ahí todo el juego. Y ver cómo Clementine al final te salva ¿no? del pavo ese, que no sabes ni el nombre, del desconocido. Del que la secuestra. Que haya sido fallo mío por dejar de dar, darle la Q. Claro, me ha desaparecido la Q, yo he de darle la Q. Claro, no sabía que tenía que seguir dándole. Pero bueno, no pasa nada. Pasa lo mismo, ¿eh? Ya he dicho, si sigues dándole la Q, en vez de matarlo Clemente, lo matas tú. Tampoco hay gran diferencia. A lo mejor en la temporada 2 hay algún cambio de diálogo, como que ella mató a... A esto, esto. Como eso, la temporada 1, a nivel de historia, es muy buena. Ojalá algún día hiciesen una, eh, una serie contándolo esto, lo dudo mucho porque ya está la serie de The Walking Dead, ¿no? que está basada en el cómic, todo esto y esta final es una historia nueva, ¿no? que era desde cero con algún personaje que existe en el, en el cómic como puede ser el caso, ¿no? de de Glenn en el capítulo 1, ya sabéis que Glenn sale en el capítulo 1, que Glenn es el personaje que sale también en los cómics y en, y en la serie también pero eso como ya he comentado eh, es un grandísimo juego, muy bien llevada la historia más llevada la, como juego, la verdad es que es un juego decente como juego, pero a nivel de historia es buenísimo. A nivel de historia, son las mejores historias. 
y eso, Billy es un muy buen personaje, con sus más y con menos, todos los personajes tienen sus más y sus menos, es lo bueno, tío, porque Kenny es un personaje muy querido, ya no parte por mí, por mucha gente, pero tiene sus cosas malas también, no tiene sus cosas malas, de, que al final es un tío de Florida, creo que es, ¿no? Tiene cosas de paleto, más claro, ¿no? Y cosas así, pero al final es un tío que quiere salvar a los demás, ¿sabes? Que quiere, quiere vivir, quiere salvar a Clementine, que al final Ben le hace todo... Ben le, básicamente le ha jodido la vida, podríamos decir, y aún así se sacrifica para también para intentar darle un final digno, no que, que no los zombies se lo coman, sino que prefiere gastar la última bala en, en matarla a él para que no sufra. Christian y a mí también, a lo mejor son los personajes menos interesantes, podemos decir, los que se unen a ti. Lily también tiene sus cosas, ¿no? Eh, Larry también tiene sus cosas, al final Larry quiere proteger a su hija, ¿no? Y tú eres un coño, al final eres un asesino, coño. Vamos a ser claros. Eh, todos sus personajes tienen sus más y sus menos, algunos más que otros, obviamente. Clementine ha sufrido un montón, cosas por el estilo. Bueno, y ahora creo que voy a dejaros con la escena post créditos. Y ahora volvemos a hablar. Y ahí está, ¿no? Hasta aquí The Walking Dead. Eh, nos vemos mañana con el... Con el DLC, ¿vale? Eh, aquí lo tenemos. Episodio especial 400 días, ¿vale? Le vamos aquí a continuar, creo que ahí está, ¿vale? Este DLC es muy cortito, o sea, dura una hora y poco, así que lo haremos, ¿vale? Vuelvo a poner aquí las estadísticas, ¿vale? Eh, pero eso, muchas gracias quienes hayan seguido la serie con nosotros, conmigo. Mañana tendréis el DLC, ¿vale? Así que como tal, no hemos acabado de Walking Dead. O sea, aún falta el último capítulo, el DLC. Pero bueno, hasta aquí la historia de Lee. Eh, la verdad es que Lee es un muy buen personaje, que me he comentado con sus más y sus menos. Para que mini spoiler de los, de los personajes en el final, porque básicamente no sabes 100% quiénes son, son Krista y Omid, ¿vale? No os preocupéis. O sea, bueno, ya, como se ven, ya te imaginas que zombies o caminantes no son. Os digo ya que son Chris y Omid. Eso, ¿vale? Mañana haremos el, el DLC. Mañana tendréis aquí el DLC de 400 Days. Y una vez acabado el DLC, eh, nos tomaremos un tiempo de descanso y subiremos la temporada 2, ¿vale? Después de acabar con The Walking Dead, eh, me gustaría empezar el Inazuma Eleven 3, ¿vale? Me gustaría empezarlo. Pero solamente cuando acabe The Walking Dead me tuve una tirada de descanso. Porque como ya sabéis, eh, este capítulo vosotros pues, a lo mejor lo estáis viendo el 20 de febrero o algo así. Y yo lo estoy grabando el día 2 de febrero, ¿vale? Lo estoy grabando el día 2. Entonces, cuando acabe The Walking Dead me esperaría que se han subido todos los vídeos. Y muy posiblemente empiece Inazuma Eleven 3. Aunque no sé si me va a ir bien en el ordenador. Entonces tengo que comprobar eso, ¿vale? Pero posiblemente sea, sea Inazuma Eleven 3 o algo relacionado con otro juego, ¿vale? Y en unos meses sí que haríamos la temporada 2 de The Walking Dead, ¿vale? Que la temporada 2 es más corta, ¿vale? Los capítulos son más cortos. No son aquí de 30 minutos, pero son más cortitos. Eso. Muchas gracias, chavales, por ver esa serie conmigo. Por disfrutarla. Perdón por los gráficos. Perdón si había problemas de audio. Al final no tengo el mejor ordenador del mundo. Y eso. Nos vemos mañana con el DLC de 400 de chavales. Muchas gracias. Si os ha gustado el vídeo, dejadle un like. No olvidéis dejar un like y un comentario, que todo tipo de apoyo os agradece. Y nos vemos en la próxima. Adiós.